Hi, it's Leslie Meredith with Break Bulk Events and Media. I'm in Dubai for Break Bulk Middle East. We've just finished a panel on Saudi Arabia including Vision 2030, and I have Omar here with me from AM Steel. Welcome. Thank you so much. It's Such nice a great to welcome, you. really. Well, we are happy to have you. So tell me, uh, what were the key points that you shared on your panel this morning? Actually, you know, I would like to start about the world uh, trade, uh, world sea trade, and we are speaking about 10.7 billion tons is traded you know, uh, through the ports and the ships. And uh, in this 10.7 billion tons, around 5.7 billion tons, we are speaking about bulk and break bulk. So it's uh, you know, uh, more than around 50% of the total shipping industry is lying with the bulk and break bulk segment. And if we look at you know, Saudi Arabia, we are speaking about 258 million tons. And this 258 million tons, around 100, 135 million tons, is liquid, which is oil and gas products, mm -hmm. and around 70 million tons is, you know, uh, containerized uh, cargo, and remaining bulk and break bulk segment is around 54 million to 57 million tons. Last three years, the slowdown happened in especially, you know, uh, bulk and break bulk segments in Saudi Arabia, and the government took several initiatives with Vision 2030, and uh, this really is supporting us uh, today. For example, I will give you live examples. We are, I'm coming from King Abdullah port, which is the only private uh, port. And it was just yesterday inaugurated by His Excellency uh, Mohammed bin Salman. And uh, we are a quite new port. And we started our operations in bulk and break bulk terminals end of 2017. And 2018, we did only 600, 700,000 tons, which compared to 55 uh, million ton market, we are, uh, you know, a peanut. Uh, but this year we are uh, targeting to reach 4 to 4.5 million tons. That is a huge yes. increase. Yes, and what is the most important point is that around 80 to 85 percent of this cargo is being exported. Oh, now that's so, interesting. Yes, yes, because you know the Vision 2030 is you know really trying to create an economy which is less dominated by the oil and gas products. And uh, you know to focus to export the uh, resources of the country to international markets, and we, as a King Abdullah Port and AM Steel, we are the terminal operator, providing uh, very important solutions and make the life of the exporters or importers uh, life is very easy. So, how much steel is produced in Saudi for export? Steel, I would like to tell you, is around uh, this year's around 10 million ton. I would like to tell you another very important information. 2015-16, Saudi Arabia was, uh, you know, still imported, especially yes. for, you know, uh, rebar segment. But this year and last year, 17 and 18, they started to become, a, you know, exporter, and they started to de de dominate, especially, you know, the neighboring countries and GCC countries. And they are now uh, number one exporter to Egypt. They dominate uh, Egypt, you know, uh, import market. They are dominating the Lebanon as well as, and they have shipped uh, cargoes to Singapore, and uh, they are also, you know, scanning to USA as well. So uh, I believe that Saudi Arabia will become a very, you know, uh, important, uh, you know, exporter uh, with the support of, of course, Vision 2030. And, uh, you know, such companies like us and such ports like us are developing to provide, you know, uh, significant or sustainable uh, base for such kind of, uh, you know, development. Absolutely. So, and there's um, big mining projects too as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. So one of the customers also we are targeting or we are, let's say that, negotiating is the state-owned, you know, mining company, which is Madan. And uh, they also, you know, uh, planning to increase their, you know, exports in several, you know, uh, uh, mining products like uh, uh, copper concentrate, like uh, they have also iron ore project uh, and they are you know uh, uh, increasing their uh, extension uh, extension capacities and of course they will need you know infrastructure good infrastructure to assist you know such kind of development and we are providing a, a excellent solution uh, in King Abdullah port and supporting vision uh, 2030 and i believe that in coming near future we will be the number one port in uh, western region uh, for especially export because we are new port 
and export means such kind of facilities, long you know, land, big uh, warehouses, you know, easy access to the port. And you know, uh, Jeddah port is now inside the city and the traffic is very you know, high and uh, the land is not able to develop more. So for bulk and break bulk segment, we are able to offer much uh, competitive advantages compared to our you know, neighboring ports. Absolutely. Well, the future looks very good for you, it yes, sounds like it to seems, me. Yeah? yeah? Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much thank you for so much. filling us in on that. It's just a whole new perspective of Saudi yes. Arabia. Yes.